Hi Cancer, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. So welcome Cancer, hope everybody's doing well. So we're going to take a little look here at um, a little bit of love, a little bit of life, and advice for you in this bonus reading. So if your readings for February did not resonate for you, so hopefully something here will. <coughs> and uh, see what we get for you. At this time, I do say at this time, I can do, do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below the description box for your general and love playlist, as well as decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip, donate, send a gift, all that is below. So Cancer, 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 let's see what's going on in love for you for this bonus reading at this time, Spirit. That's too many. All right, feeling that one. Oh, we have 12, we have the birds here. We have the Seven of Pentacles energy at the bottom, which can be about assessing, uh, analyzing, waiting. And we have 12 there, which is three, which is about people coming together, working together in some way, shape or form. So I'm just going to read a little bit of what the birds are. Number 12. Uh, see what we have here. A phone call, a text, or a date. That is how I communicate. I am meetings or interviews, and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, lover, or mate. Couples is what I indicate. Oh, well. And, well, we just got this for um, Libra. So I believe here, if somebody's been wearing a false mask or they've been covering up how they feel, now they may be coming forward um, with some news here saying that they, they want to go on a date, they want to uh, be a couple or something like that. Hmm. All right, so let's see what's going on in life. We're going to clarify all this with the tarot at the end. All right. Let's see what's going on in life. More cancer. Cancer. For this bonus reading. Spirit, thank you so much. What does cancer need to know? And we have expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse so some sort of powerful change coming in here and then we have a time for healing so there's some big big change coming but it may be something that may require some healing work so it may be um i don't know it could be something unexpected so let's see Let's see what your advice is for the week. For the week. Just a quick shout out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reach out for personal reading. Thank you. Thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me. All right. So what's the advice for cancer? Financial discipline. 48, which is 12, which is three, which is about, so definitely about work here. Something with work and watching your finances. And then there's a love partnership. Eight um, is about action, travel, communication. <coughs> I don't know. Watch your spending habits with your person. Maybe you're going out a lot. Maybe you're traveling a lot. Maybe you're, you know, spending a lot of money with you and your person. Could be a new relationship. Or maybe you guys just like to go out, have a good time, you know, go out to eat a lot, go and spend a lot of money. And you may need to, uh, unfortunately, watch your spending habits. All right, so what is this about the birds here? Bringing in news of a date or something like that. After somebody, I feel like, wasn't revealing how they truly felt or something, and then all of a sudden now they want to go on a date. So five of wands, so feeling conflicted. Four of swords, retreat mode, healing, spending time alone, kind of energy. Seven of cups, options, daydreaming, confusion, decisions. 
Eight of Cups. So now we got the Seven and the Eight of Cups. So it's the energy of walking away, but you always can't walk back or go to something more fulfilling. King of Wands. So it could be dealing with Fire Sign. Fiery, passionate energy here. And the Hermit going within. Thinking, contemplating, finding the way in the light. So somebody here definitely had some conflict, inner conflict, or maybe there was a fight or an argument, but then it caused healing. And now weighing out, trying to make a decision, a um, little confusion, you know, could have walked away here. Or they could have walked away from something else that had nothing to do with you. And they needed healing over that trying to decide what they want and now being in their fiery passionate energy they've gone within and found their way in their light and they're ready you see like this man is taking action towards what he wants now he's stepping up so somebody could be stepping up now and realizing uh, removing their mask and sending news hey can we go on a date or something like that like this person I feel like left behind what wasn't serving them and now they're going after that cup that's in the distance like they see it now and they're like oh I, I want that cup so somebody may be reaching out and uh, been watching you maybe <coughs> not like watching you in creeper way but maybe trying to decide you know is that somebody that I want to get to know but not like showing you or telling you kind of hiding it and now all of a sudden news comes in and you may be uh Getting a text or a call or something. Hey, you want to go out on a date? <laughs> oh, my cards are upside down. So what is this time for healing? Let me ask again. What is this time for healing and a powerful change? So now we have the Queen of Wands. It's a fiery passion energy again. So we've got a matching couple here. Justice. So fair, balanced energy, truths. Things balancing out. Toxic energy with the devil. Eee. The magician manifesting a brand new beginning. Wow. The hierophant. Wow. So that's faith, religion, doing what's moral, just and right. Marriage, commitment. And wishes and dreams coming true here with the Nine of Cups. So I feel like some sort of powerful change overcoming justice, overcoming this devil toxic energy. We have all good energy here except for the devil. So somebody could be overcoming an addiction, an obsession, or something like that, which is this powerful change and healing. Someone getting their power back with the Queen of Wands, getting justice in their life now, manifesting a brand new beginning. Could be involving drinking or overindulging, staying committed to um, overcoming this. Could be anything, addiction, obsession, overworking. It could be negative thinking. It could be, um, you know, getting justice over an injustice of some kind with a family, friend, co-worker, a work situation. Only you know what that is. But I do see... No wishes, dreams coming true, happiness and joy. But also there's the overindulgence. So however this resonates for you, but something will be overcome here. Justice will equal out, manifesting a new beginning. Stay committed to the journey, though don't forget to heal. So what is this financial discipline and love partnership? So the King of Swords. So yeah, truth needs to be seen on a situation here really thinking, contemplating on um, finances here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Your stability, your foundation. Um, Nine of Pentacles can take care of themselves. They're independent. They're stable. You know, they're abundant kind of energy. Knight of Pentacles. So that is like my working card. Like somebody working on their career, their finances, their education coming you know making solid movement forward stable secure practical steps the fool so yeah maybe uh i mean the fool just 
does whatever they want. They they kind of jump in. They kind of, you know, take the risk. They don't really think about the consequence. So, yeah, I think really need to think here about how you may be foolishly spending your money. How are you investing it with the Nine of Pentacles? You know, is it just lavish? Is it just, you know, things maybe that you don't really need to spend money on? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there needs to be balance here. And heavy finances coming out here. Needs to be balance. Knight of Wands. A very fiery, passionate energy. Uh, movement forward. So you may, you know, be very fiery, passionate. Like, you know, like you want what you want. You spend on what you want. You just, you know, that's just that fiery, passionate energy. But... With the King of Swords here overcoming the knight, overtrumping the knight, really need to think long and hard and clearly about how you're investing, what are you investing foolishly in. Um, you know, needs to be balanced, more practical energy moving forward so you can remain stable and abundant. And again, it could have to do something, but maybe you and your person just going out a lot, spending a lot, um... And not really, you know, thinking about it. <coughs> but with the King of Swords, it's something to think about. So let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> Ace of Swords is the truth of the matter here. The <laughs> mental clarity. Big aha, mo aha moment. Being maybe a little defensive, you know, about really, you know, having to, you know, put your foot down about spending habits. Maybe not wanting to, maybe putting it off, putting it off. Three of Wands energy. But Emperor here needing to take control of the situation, the finances, of the career, your life. Kind of energy, you know, having that open, honest, truthful communication, that clear thinking. Doing research or something like, you know, reviewing things. And then going uh, into a better place here with the Six of Swords. Traveling into a much better place. And I say that, then the Chariot is there too. So going ahead with a lot of driving ambition, but also balance and victory. Going into a better place. I also see um, a relationship could be moving forward with a lot of driving ambition and balance to a better place. You know, could be spying on one another here with the Page of Swords or online communication, truthful communication. Somebody needing to take lead, take charge. Someone's been waiting waiting maybe someone's been a little blocked off and defensive but now truths will be coming forward new beginnings victorious new beginnings with the ace of swords so i feel like yeah in all aspects here victorious new beginning clarity uh healing um going into a much better place all the way around cancer wow cancer okay um i do ask cancer if you're new uh please do if you like my style, how I read, check out my channel, like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. So best of luck to you here, uh, Cancer. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channels, to always, always shine your light.